Welcome back. You are watching Business Today here on KTN News. And uh, yes, we are now going to talk technology. In studio, Kevin Muridi, the Chief Executive Officer for NerdCop, and he's here to talk to us about a latest technology that could be um, the next big invention from Kenya. And uh, Kenya has been described as the Silicon Valley of Africa. But does it live up to its name? And uh, yes, you could say yes with what we're about to talk about. Um, Kevin, there is the Matrix black box um, that I'm holding right here. There's the bigger version and there's the smaller version, which you're calling a prototype. Uh, but just tell us about Matrix black box. Um, it tracks, it spies, it networks, but in simple terms, break it down for us. Okay, so the black box, mm -hmm. uh, as we call it, um, there's a reason, first of all, we haven't called it a tracker. Yeah. Because it's more than a tracker. Mm -hmm. So we called it the black box because it's going to expand more than tracker. Yeah. So the, the black box, if I may show you, um, is a specific device that mm -hmm. does all this. Mm -hmm. So that includes, that's tracking, it does spy features, it does call and SMS, Wi-Fi, and others that are coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's begin talking about, first of all, the tracking feature that it comes with. Yeah. So the tracking feature was the first development we ever did mm -hmm. with the black box. Um, after losing a couple of laptops, mm -hmm. which were around three laptops that I've lost so far, That's I decided true. to invent a tracker for laptops. So this is your fourth? Yeah, this is my fourth laptop. Okay. Uh -huh. So I decided that... Uh, it's wise if I can do a tracker that is not software-based, but hardware. Mm -hmm. Now, software-based trackers are there. They are numerous. They're all over the there. place, yeah. Yeah, but the problem with software trackers is that once your computer is formatted, mm -hmm. uh, everything is cleared. So you lose your data. At the same time, the software that was supposed to be tracking the laptop is also taken away. Mm -hmm. So with the hardware tracker, we embed the chip mm -hmm. inside. So yeah. we take it. We put it inside your laptop, mm -hmm. and with that, you will be tracking the chip. So it's very hard to remove the chip since it's soldered onto the main board. Mm -hmm. Second of all, it has trip mechanisms that aid so that when someone tries to open your laptop from the hardware inside out, it's able to alert you and all that. So we developed it, developing uh, with a specific mindset of the tracking capability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that in mind, I also considered the Kenyans who are out there who don't have smartphones. Yes. So I based it on a tracking system that will be text-based. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I'm to show you how it does, mm -hmm. you zoom in. Just a minute. Okay. So what happens is, um, as you can see, the tracker mm -hmm. uh, is text-based. So yep. you send a message, GPS. Mm -hmm. Once you send a message, it gives you five minutes or so so that it's able to triangulate where your laptop is. Mm -hmm. And with that, it's able to give you a current location mm -hmm. with the meters in accuracy, right. longitude and latitude, uh, speed if it's in a moving vehicle, and uh, bearing, northwest, southwest, and all that. Mm -hmm and a Google Maps link. So this is anywhere across the country? Anywhere. Yeah, and, and not it just doesn't matter whether country. you have a smartphone or not? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can do this with any phone. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if I'm to show that mm -hmm. on my phone, yeah. so once it texts you the link, you just click on it if you have a smartphone, mm -hmm. click on this link, and it will open up with Google Maps. Everybody knows Google Maps. Yeah. Well, everybody who has a smartphone, a smartphone yeah. uses Google Maps. Or has access to internet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For those who don't have smartphones, you take this information to the police. Yeah. Uh, the latitude and the longitude, they can trace it via their system. Yeah. So this will be good information for them to mm -hmm. know where to start when it comes to tracking. Right. Yes. So the last uh, bit that you also uh, could maybe want to add in, in this regard is... Uh, the fact that it also has a voice allowance for somebody to actually find out what exactly uh, is being talked about in a certain radius. Maybe you want to take us through that as well uh, so we are able to understand exactly how it works. Um, that part is the part we're calling the spy feature, mm -hmm. as I will explain here. Mm -hmm. So the spy feature is uh, 
pretty neat little feature. Mm -hmm. We're calling it the spy feature. Right. So what happens is that you text the tracker again, since it has the SIM card, you text the tracker, mm -hmm. listen. So once you text it, listen, what happens is that the tracker is able to call you back. Yeah. And if you pick up the call, you're able to hear exactly what is happening around the laptop. Mm -hmm. Now, this feature is specifically designed for you to be able to get more information for, um, when, as you actively track it on the ground. We did not dis develop it for you just spying on your friends. Mm -hmm. We did it so that you're able to hear if people are talking about selling it, you, you, with the voice, you'll be able to know who has it and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And, and knowing that, you know, you just like you put it, the functionality works by text messaging where you send a text message command call back and the tracker is able to call you back. And with that, you can actually listen to conversations around the laptop. Um, you think we can try that with what we are talking about here? Yes. Yeah. And see if we can actually figure it out. Um, I'm, I'm thinking you have the tracker inside your laptop. Yes, the okay. tracker is already inside the laptop. <laughs> so right. what you're going to do, you're going to text it, listen. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to show it like this. So um, I don't know if you can zoom into this. Yeah, I think he's able to. Um, probably the camera can, can be able to do that, but you need to direct it towards that side. Well, let me try and make it as bright as possible. Mm -hmm. um, can you see that? Mm, yes. We good, yeah? Yeah, I think we can be able to see that. Um, so uh -huh. we're going to text it, listen. Uh -huh. It's already inside. Okay. Um, let's, just a minute. Okay. All right, uh-huh. We're texting, listen. So and then what happens after that? So when you text it, listen, it receives the command. Mm -hmm. um, up. Mm-hmm. No. So with that, as you can see, it's already calling. Yeah. So every tracker has a name. Mm -hmm. uh, mine, I'm calling it Dark Knight. Okay. So uh, what happens is that if I receive this call right now, yeah. you can be able to hear Doreen as she speaks around the laptop. Okay. Do I pick it up? Yeah, sure. Pick it up. Let's see. So uh, you can put it on loudspeaker if well, you can. Let me put it on loudspeaker. Yeah. Um, so all right, so in this case, one is able to hear in case the laptop is being sold to the next buyer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, there's feedback because uh, we're actually literally able to hear what's going on. Exactly. Um, so in every tracker, the spy uh, functionality is there. Yes. All right, and, and so when you're dealing with these kinds of situations, because I'm thinking this one is quite very tricky, especially on the spy bit, um, have you received requests of people saying they want you to spy on certain people for whatever reasons um, that have a economic value? Um, well, for that, mm -hmm. there are people who are talking about maybe using the functionality mm -hmm. for hampering corruption mm -hmm. in places. Yes. Um, that would be a good use of it. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, I advocate that you use it for that specific purpose. Like fighting well, corruption. Fighting corruption yeah. and using it for good. Because mm -hmm. we're giving you a tool that you're supposed to use for the betterment of society. The tracker has not been existent for a while and uh, I think it's long overdue. Mm -hmm. And I think if we put it out there, and people are responsible enough, they can use it for good use. All right, so the, it, it, it tracks, it spies, but it also um, calls an SMS. That is what we just looked at just now. Yes. And uh, there's also the Wi-Fi bit. Uh, tell us about that. Um, the Wi-Fi bit, mm. it's a very neat uh, functionality. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, for those who have smartphones, they already know that every smartphone comes with a Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and you're able to see just on the bar strength how strong it is, okay? So what happens with Wi-Fi, you text the tracker, mm -hmm. Wi-Fi on. Yeah. Now, once you text it Wi-Fi on, it creates a Wi-Fi. So right now, if you look at uh, my Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. you'll see a Wi-Fi called Dark Knight on that corner. Yeah, right here. Yes. Uh -huh. So that Wi-Fi is created by my tracker. So what happens is that this Wi-Fi use it for two purposes. First purpose you can surf with it just like you would if you had a modem mm -hmm. on your laptop. Mm -hmm. The second purpose is for tracking purpose, whereby the closer you get to your laptop, the more the signal strength, as you know. Mm -hmm. So the bar strength tells you just how close you are to 
the, the tracker itself. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as you're actively tracking it on the ground with GPS, you're able to tell how close or far you are, you are from the tracker. All right. Yes. Um, so how did you even come up with this idea? Um, I know that it was actually after the, you, lost, you lost three laptops, right? Yes. Um, but then how did you put all of this together? Did you import the devices? How did you really put the technology side of it together? Um, uh, I must say I had help. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I, I have backgrounds in engineering, so electronics is not hard for That's me. That's software engineering? Or? Yes, both. I have background in both software and hardware engineering. Mm -hmm. So I was able to actually solder a lot of parts by hand, mm -hmm. which now I have a team to help me do that. Right. Um, the other help I got was from communities such as iHub mm -hmm. and um, Gearbox, mm -hmm. specifically Gearbox because now they are doing hardware helps to young rising entrepreneurs who have hardware solutions, right. which are very rare in the country. Mm -hmm. So with that, I was able to work hand in hand with a lot of other people who helped me out. And with my idea and push, we were able to develop it to this level. Okay. Um, are there any customers you've had so far since it was invented or since the whole Matrix black box was invented? Yes, we've had quite Tell a number of it. customers now. Okay. Um, most of them actually are not even local mm -hmm. uh, per se. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, since the tracker is a global product, mm -hmm. laptops are everywhere. Yeah. So the beauty about this specific tracker is that it can work in Uganda as it would work in Kenya as it would work in Tanzania. So we've had a lot of customers on international platform. They are asking us and they are calling us for, um, <clears throat> uh, what is it called, uh, sole distributorship in their countries. Yeah. Yeah, so Which right is some now, of those countries so far? Um, we have South Africa, mm -hmm. uh, we have Mozambia, um, uh, Mozambique, Zambique, sorry, yeah. and Zambia, sorry, yes. slipped there. Yeah. Zambia too, we mm -hmm. have Tanzania and one in Uganda. How about Kenya? Uh, funny enough, not much of it. But there are people who have been asking around and yeah. they have bought. But I can say international platforms, they are accepting it way more actually than even our local. Mm -hmm. So when you clip this on your laptop or device, electronic device, um, where exactly do you put it? Say if you're putting it in a laptop, do you put it on the inside? And, and if yes, where on the inside do you put it? Uh, the tracker can be placed anywhere. Mm -hmm. It can be placed under the hard disk, mm -hmm. under the motherboard, yeah. uh, behind the screen. Mm -hmm. So it actually has a lot of play inside the laptop. The laptop has actually a lot of space, mm -hmm. despite the norm that people think it's all compact. That, that's for, say, these kinds of laptops. Yeah? Yes. Or what about a MacBook? Yes, that's why we developed the Mini. Mm -hmm. So this is the Mini version. This fits in a MacBook. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's upcoming. It has, uh, we're still working on the hardware to make it smaller. Okay. It's already small, mm -hmm. but we're making it even smaller because we're now targeting mm -hmm. tablets. Mm -hmm. So with a hardware solution, you know, you can never go wrong. Right. Yes. Okay. And, and so you have developed this as a prototype, the smaller version. Yes. Uh, can it be able to fit in a cell phone, for instance? That is where we are heading. Mm -hmm. um, since last time when we had this version, mm -hmm. version 1.0, yeah. version 2.0 actually will be so small, it can actually fit your phone. Ah, yes. this is interesting. So let's talk about affordability. I know there are a lot of people who say would want to place this in form of a nanicam. I will, I will speak for myself. Yes. Um, in form of a nanicam, for instance, am I able to do that? Yes, so this version, mm -hmm. uh, the second version, version 2.0, yeah. comes with something called an OTG functionality. Mm -hmm. on OTG being, uh, for the sake of our viewers? <laughs> uh, OTG is a new technology for the USB um, that allows you to connect devices that are, that are um, what, do I, what do I say, external devices on normal hardwares mm -hmm. by a USB port. Right. Okay. So with that, we're going to add a cable that you'll be able to add a camera, any mm -hmm. type, mm -hmm. HD type, if you can afford, to the lowest three megapixels, right. and use this as a nanny cam mm -hmm. anywhere. So let's talk about uh, the challenges you've experienced as a developer in Kenya. Um, which are the biggest ones, and which are some of the good things that have happened to you as a developer in Kenya? Uh, as usual in Kenya, scarcity of resources. Yeah. Uh, that has been a major thing. Um, mm -hmm. 
We had trouble when we were trying to raise capital. You see, the first time it was just an idea uh -huh. and telling people we can do this from Kenya. It was like, no, you'll have to go to China and all that. Uh -huh. So convincing investors was uh, tricky. Uh -huh. uh, we had to do it by hand, which was a good thing because we're able to innovate at a very low cost level. Right. So it is good to lack capital to some degree, but now we want to scale it up. We want to do it bigger and better. Mm -hmm. So now we're inviting investors and people who can see the bigger vision mm -hmm. because it's not going to stop on the laptop. So course. someone right now would ask, why would you even want to invite other investors into this, knowing that you've actually struggled to put it together and uh, you're now even welcome to equity. Why? Um, you don't want to drive this all the way to the top by yourself? We can, we mm -hmm. can, we can. But again, uh, we are looking at affordability. Mm -hmm. For uh, as we speak, we are selling it at a hundred dollars mm -hmm. since we're talking That's about, about 10,000 Kenya shillings. It's like 10,000 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. Want to take it down, want to take it down to as low as a thousand shillings or two thousand at tops, mm -hmm. so that uh, anybody with a laptop, even as a low cost laptop, mm -hmm. can be able to afford it. So, what you're looking for is inventory, exactly. Yeah, yes, okay. And have you gotten any offers yet? Yes, we have a few that we are talking to, mm -hmm. but we're still welcoming more since networks can always be exploited. So we are welcoming people on, on board. All right. Is it uh, selling anywhere on the online stores uh, that people can go out there and just buy it? Oh, yeah. We, we are going to add it to eBay. We are in talks with eBay. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to access it via eBay awesome. or on our site directly, which is matrixblackbox.com. Mm -hmm. So from there, you just buy it with any... Uh, card, you can use your Nakumat Global, yes, and we do free shipping as long as you're within the country or even outside the country. All right. Yes. Um, there are so many people just like yourself, you know, developers, software developers and hardware developers we have in Kenya and across East Africa um, who wish that they could actually know more about uh, marketing their softwares or marketing their inventions. Um, what would you say to them as a young developer? Um, who has seen both the good and the bad side, what would you say to them? I'd tell them not to look at money first, yeah. try to solve a problem, yeah. a genuine problem, yeah. and uh, try to do it with as little resources as you can, because uh, with that you'll be able to learn a lot of the dynamics of what you're building. And uh, on top of that, I'd tell them to have sleepless nights like normal engineers do. Mm -hmm. There's no sleeping. So how many hours do you sleep? <laughs> Barely enough. <laughs> All right. Um, a lot of people are actually interested in it. And uh, one that is at Owino who is saying, how much is that black box? I am able to help them sell it. And there you go. You're having people who are offering to do that. Uh, Mr. Kamau or at Kamaveli is saying, um, way to go with the hardware tracker. And uh, IT News or at Ramgi Davis is saying, the guy is good. Thumbs up. And... Um, well, you say I also have good questions, but then um, there's someone else, Felix, who is saying Matrix Black Box. This is awesome, Mr. Kevin Marivi. Um, there you go. And uh, well, uh, IT News again is saying $100 is not so bad. Yeah. So you want to bring it down to 5,000 or even less? Even less. Even less. Yeah. All right, going forward, what does the future hold for you? Um, we're looking at a great age here. Mm -hmm. If uh, anyone who is in the IT field understands something called the Internet of Things, mm -hmm. this is the next Internet of Things. Yeah. Um, you might see it as a tracker just right now for a laptop. I think you should hold it still so a cameraman is able to pick <laughs> it up. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. This device will be able to, you'll be able to control things mm -hmm. remotely. Mm -hmm. um, the functionalities that are going to be built on this You'll be able to shut down your sprinkler wherever you are mm -hmm. just with this. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to track your bike. You'll mm -hmm. be able to geofence your car. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to do so much. We can track the grid with it. This is just the beginning. It's just the tip of the iceberg. It goes deeper than just tracking laptops. All right. Everyone is asking how old you are, that you're able to even know all of this stuff. <laughs> I'm 26. Wow. 
still young and shy. Yes, but I guess that's the future of technology. You know, technology is, is taking up a lot of young people's interests, which is a good thing. And, um, and so for everybody out there that is planning on getting into this, you have been also participating in hackathons. Yeah? Yes. Uh, how is that going so far? Oh, yes. Uh, one of the groups that has also been of help is called Africa Hackon. Mm -hmm. So they are a group of nerds again who are really good hackers, mm -hmm. and they help exploit vulnerabilities in systems. Right. Um, they are kind of like uh, the guardians of the security age of uh, mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I, I think they don't have the exposure they need. Mm -hmm. People should know that cybersecurity is real, yeah. and uh, they should see these guys. They're All doing right. great stuff. Okay, and uh, when is the next hackathon again? It's coming around June. In June? Yes. I should be able to come for that one. Um, let's just read out some more tweets here. Um, at IROC or at Mark Ongaya is saying this is a good innovation. And at DJ Gitz is saying prices will come down in the near future. At Dr. Well, at Wameo KW or Dr. Kenneth Wameo is saying listening in to Hardware Tracker, great effort. And uh, Wilfred is saying congrats, Muridi, for the good inventory, I guess, invention. Where can I get you? Where can people get you? Just go to our site. Okay, that is uh, matrixblackbox.com. Yes. All right, and uh, finally, yes, uh, when investors come in, they're wishing you well. All right. Thank you. So thank you so much for coming over, Kevin. Thank Appreciate. You.